you, Zack Snyder. Thank you, WB, for putting Zack Snyder in charge of the DCU. You finally got someone who knows what the fuck they're doing and who reads the comics. The Nolan era was the shittiest era imaginable. I don't give a fuck if that's going to offend some people. The Nolan era in terms of real comic book fandom, Nolan era was a fake era for poser fucking fans that know nothing about comic books. Now, this is the true DC fan era. I compare the Nolan era in terms of Batman filmmaking to fascist, Third Reich, Hitler-esque shit. He basically, it was a takeover of DC that nobody fucking wanted. Except for people who knew jack shit about comics, who don't give a fuck about comics. They just care about filmmaking and could give a fuck. Whatever you throw at them, they'll be happy. I'm glad we have Zack Snyder, who actually Snyder, the movie, knows so what the hell he's doing. Second, just let you know and film, you stupid Nolanites, it's, t it's karma's a bitch. It's time for you retards to squirm, because now you know what we we, we we feel like we we that with a hack like Nolan in charge, who was pushing his stupid, shitty agenda and spitting in the face of real Batman and DC fans everywhere because he wanted just Batman and no other heroes. The, the fucking hack Nolan never wanted to share universe anyway, so that's why I laugh when any fucking retard thinks that Nolan really had anything to do with Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman. The fucking asshole only cared about Batman, didn't want to share universe anyway, so Zack Snyder is a true DC fan who cared about the entire DC universe. Not just about Batman, there's some fake ass bitch posers that only care about Batman, only want to see Batman solo movie, they don't care about the DCU at large. I love Batman, I love Superman more, but I care about the DCU at large, not just fucking one fucking character like these poser idiots, pick flick and all these fucking flick pick, all these fucking posers. No, I care about the DCU at large, including Batman, Superman, Aquaman, all the characters, not you fucking punk bitch poser ass fans that just are Batman fans and no one else. DCU has a vastly superior to shitty Marvel. Vastly. Better characters all around. With the exception of Marvel having Spider-Man and Hulk, Marvel characters are just straight up shit. Straight up shit. DC characters are superior. So thank you Zack Snyder. Thank you WB for finally putting the right fucking person in charge. That is Zack Snyder in charge of DCU. And only people who don't give a fuck about comics like shitty Christopher Nolan. He was a fucking horrible director for Batman. You finally got the right one. Now karma's a bitch. You fake poser G DC fans. You fake DC fans. Cause the real true DC fans are happy with Zack Snyder. Happy he has reign. Because he's a just person and he knows comic books. Nolan was a hack. He didn't give a fuck about comic books. He spit in the face of comic books. He was an insult to true comic book fans. Posers liked his shit. Posers like Nolan shitty films. If you think Nolan shit was end all be all, you fucking stupid. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't know anything about Batman. His movies were nothing having to do with Batman. His movies were Heath and Michael Mann disguised with a guy in a Batman suit and a motorcycle helmet. Shit was trash. Zack Snyder is comic book DCU Batman official. Ben Affleck is Batman, Henry Cavill is Superman. Fuck what you heard. That's the real DC. Thank you, Zack Snyder, and thank you, WB, for keeping Zack Snyder. He's the real deal. That's the one that true DC fans want in charge of the DC universe. Fuck Marvel. Don't give a fuck about Civil War. DC out. Thank you, Zack.